welcome back to another video in this video we are going to study share link in swift UI. so let's begin by creating a new file and name it as share link playground so share link is actually a view and it is introduced in ios 16 and when user taps on it it presents a share sheet for the user to share content to other apps share link can share any data that confirms to transferable protocol and by default we have these types which already confirm to transferable so let's begin with a b stack and see how we can use this in our app so now if i type share link you can notice we have different initializer with which we can create it but let's just begin with a simple version where it accepts an item and this item can either be a string url or an image so let's just use a string that says maybe good morning or something and now let's just run it and before running this make sure that uh, you have this this file in the main file so in the main file replace the old swift UI view with this one so that when the apps run it displays this view and we can see it so we have this nice share uh, text and icon so this may not work properly on a preview and that's the reason we are using a simulator and if I tap on this you can notice we have this text and we can share it with a message or a reminder app or we can copy it so this is how this share link works and let's just see how we can use maybe a URL so I'm going to create a URL from string and let's just use https colon backslash i guess this is forward slash and google maybe google.com so now we have our url and then we can write another share link and this time we can use our title for the share link as well like maybe if you do not want to use the default title you can use visit google.com as a title and then for the item uh, we can use our URL and make sure it's not null by using all uh, this force unwrapping and now if I run this We have our visit google.com. So now if I, if I tap on this we can notice we have google.com in here this is actually a preview so it shows you um, I guess the site logo or icon something so yeah so this is how you can use uh, string slash text with share link and this is how you can use title and also URL so if you want actually you can uh, customize this uh, view for this share link instead of using this default icon and title you can use your own like maybe share link and for the item let's just use our url and then we can use this curly braces and write anything that confirms to a view maybe an hashtag v tag or image or anything but let's just use a text in here that says maybe uh, custom title or something and then you can use a different foreground color maybe a green and then you can use a font like you can just customize it with any view modifier that you want so uh, before running this let's just see another thing we can also provide the subject and the message for our share link subject is actually the title and message is actually the description so like you can use share link and notice we have this subject and message of type text and it's optional so you it's up to you if you want to provide so let's just use maybe url and then we can use our subject and we can write something like this uh, custom title slash subject or anything that's uh, uh, that makes some sense or is something which is important and yeah this is the description or something so now if I run this uh, sorry we just made a mistake this actually needs to be inside the text so you can just directly use a string because it accept a text
we have our custom uh, title this is uh, like we, we customize it in here so it's a uh, different title than the default and then we have this um, yeah and now if I move to maybe a message app I'm not sure if this is uh, going to be visible in the message app but let's just try to use a reminder app and yeah here you can see we have this description in here so it depends on the app which information the app is going to utilize uh, so and I, if I can use a uh, title or a description it's up to the app so this is how you can uh, provide title text and URL to this uh, sharing and let's just comment out this one and now let's just see how we can use an image with our sharing so I'm going to create an image in here and let's just see what image do we have in our assets so we have this nature and nature too. So I'm going to use maybe nature in here. And then we can use share link and item. And for this item, uh, sorry, I just didn't realize which initializer I'm using. So uh, let's just use maybe the simple item one. And for this item, let's use image. And with the image, we can use, uh, I think we can use this preview with other, like with a URL as well. That's fine, but let's just use a preview in here with our image. And this preview actually accept a share preview. It's a struct and it further accept a title. So maybe we can name it as nature image. And then it accepts uh, an image for this preview. So we already have an image, so we can use it. Now if I run this, and let's tap on the share, and notice here we have our nature image title, and we have different options, like we can print it, save to file or anything. So we have our image here. So yeah so this is how this how we can use an image with the sharing and if you want you can use uh, like a custom custom object for the sharing as well so let's just see how we can use it maybe we have this custom image struct that confirms to transferable because we know if you want to use a custom object then it has to or any object it has to conform to transferable and then we have to provide this transfer representation property so it's a static property uh, transfer representation and then we have different representations like we have a codable representation a data representation file representation so if you maybe want to write a audio file or video file or something so it depends on your use case but I'm just going to use a simple proxy representation and for the we can then notify uh, we can explain what we are going to export and import uh, we are just going to use export in here backslash dot uh, we don't have any data in here so let's just first create some data so now we have image and uh, let's use maybe uh, we have a caption of stripe string and then maybe description of type string and then we can use backslash dot image so we are going to export image from this and now we can create this custom image type in here so let's just create custom image and let's move all these uh, values to a separate line and for the image we can use this nature for the caption um, maybe nature image or something nice nature image or any description that's available so and then we can use our share link and this time for the item we are going to use a custom image and then let's just use a preview and for the preview we can use custom image dot caption and custom image dot image and now you can run it and see the result but this is just a, a very basic demonstration that how you can use a custom object or, or any object actually 
um, just make sure that it confirms to a transferable and then you further have different types like a codable representation data representation or file representation so now if I tap on the share and it's still the same result because it's the same image so that's it for this video uh, this is just a basic uh, explanation how we can use a share link with, uh, with, within our app we can use share link for the string we can use it for the URL for the image and for the custom or for the for any other object we just have to make sure that it confirms to transferable so that's it if you have anything let me know in the comment and I will see you in the next video